This small tutorial shows how to embed your Firebase data into your Angular. So this is now what I did is I took a, in this in 2021. Um, what you have to do is first you go to your Firebase and you create a new project and there into the project you go to real-time database and then as usual you take here uh, you create a new uh, a new node that's what you have here and then i called it here this it's just like a small database it's uh, my task task what i want to do so remember this name and you have to go to the rules and there you have to say rules uh, read to true and write to false and as soon as you have to done, uh, done this, your data will be uh, there available. Uh, and we want to show it like this uh, in our uh, in GSurf, in our Angular database local shown. So what we do there, we have first to install uh, our, uh, our stuff. Now first let, let's do it like here in our, in, our administrator windows powershell and what you have to do there is you go there uh, either you take here the latest one npm install angular fire latest firebase or this is the latest one which i installed uh, by fixed npm install firebase uh, at with the version 7.24.0 angular fire 2 and as soon as you have done this, <coughs> you go into a, your application. You will find here in your uh, package, package JSON, your um, these two entries in dependencies, Angular file uh, version five, and here this is the Firebase version seven. And now we have to embed it in our application in our component that in the component is shown uh, that's all those uh, entries we first go to the app modules.ts in app modules.ts we have to import here those two lines import angular fire module from angular fire and then angular fire database module from angular uh, fire database and then, uh, as in all tutorials, we have to embed the Firebase config. Now I'm show, showing all those entries. Um, other, uh, later I will delete those entries in my database. So this is a secret normally. Now we go to the import. Uh, and under imports, we have to embed here this Angular Fire module dot initialize firebase config that's this one and the angular fire database module and you have to do it in this uh, sequence so this is the first entry this is the second entry and here the same then we go to the app component and in app component you go there so that's the app, compo uh, app modules app component in app component you take this one import fire database uh, angular fire database and angular fire list that's the new one in the former this was uh, list objects now this is angular fire list and they are from angular fire database that's why we imported it here in modules and uh, then you go there to you declare uh, observable for this you need this line import observable from uh, rxjs public uh, this is my tasks of garden and observable of type any you're closing those brackets and an array of this one in other um, in other tutorials you will see this one any array of type observable this is a little bit different but when you do this you will get an error so you can take this one public uh, observable 
an array of type any and then you say constructor you have the uh, we take the angular fire database we're injecting it into our constructor uh, and now when we have it in our uh, in our constructor we say um, angular fire database dot list so this is the dot list what you have there and now you take the first node which you have uh, uh, written in your um, in your firebase so this is the first this is the node this uh, data <coughs> this first node this node or if you have other nodes take this node uh, below there and then we say then you will move your uh, you will connect your database by this to an angular fire list and then you say value changes dot subscribe so give me all those values and um, move everything into your uh, local um, into those into this variable so we, we would also uh, be able to take this one to another place but in this case we have we say um, my local observable uh, should be moved in there and or copied in there copied and now we go to the output is there anything else no in the output we say ng4 uh, let item of this module this one each item of this one and we sh show the item and now what's happened when we take the uh, we go to here uh, here to uh, in npm scripts you see the start when you run the start you see the starting here uh, that's our database running now in the background and when you have this you will see this result that's the, our point and now those, these are the entries which you see there there's not the one two three so you see this is a, these are the values and uh, this is the key on there you will find the code on my website where's my website this is my website and there is the code you may embed your code not these two lines uh, that's by installing and now take the import the constructor uh, the config and then the import into your um, angular modules and the app component and then you have all in your stuff